Ahmed Satomi notes that the situation was a national embarrassment, stressing that huge sums were budgeted and approved to ensure quality service delivery of the nation's presidential aircrafts. According to the lawmaker, subjecting the president and vice president of a sovereign nation like Nigeria to a chartered flight is a national security threat which should be avoided. Summon the NSA and the commandant of the presidential air for them to explain. For them to explain. The vice president last week was one hour airborne when the aircraft developed a problem that has to come back and land. As I'm speaking to you this morning, he's using a commercial flight to KP, the vice president of Nigeria. And that aircraft is belongs to an individual, which means we cannot as a country. And that aircraft belongs to the Nigerian Air Force. That's why the presidential jet is called the Air Force One. So therefore, it's a shame. When, the pre when Mr. President wants to leave on official duty from Riyadh to UK, he used a chartered flight in the 21st century. No, come on, not Nigeria. Believe it. And we have appropriated enough funds to my understanding for them to maintain this aircraft. So that's why I say the NSA should come. And I want you to do public like this when he ar arrives. Recall that at plenary within the week, the topic generated a heated debate. While majority of the lawmakers condemned the development, the deputy minority leader of the House, Ali Jesse, had a different view. Mr. Speaker, since an issue has been raised, I will advise that the president should suspend using the presidential aircraft. If there is need, he can use either commercial or chartered aircraft, and another option, if that will also help Nigerians. If the president can travel by road, then Nigerians will have hope. Satomi, however, stressed the resolve of the 10th Assembly to support the President Tinubu-led administration to bring about desired social economic development. Henrietta Momodu, EBS News.